What's up everyone, it's Rick here at UTV Source and we're with Ryan from KMC. Well, let's talk about you, let's talk about the build, let's talk about what you want to talk about. I mean, biggest thing, KMC, we're out here, we're doing it. Um, Pro XP4. Threw on a uh, HCR long travel kit. Our uh, brand new EFX, I think this is brand new to social media. Yeah. yeah. Nobody's really seen it, but yeah, the new EFX Sandslinger Sport. Dope tire. Dope. We got a set on ours. Yeah, well, I mean, look at you. <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, cool part about this is it's a molded sand tire. So price point is there, but we're like in the weights of almost scat track. Yeah, I weighed them on our yeah. video. So, you know that for a molded tire, this is doing it right now. And I, I think once people start finding it, it's gonna hit. It went on a diet. Yeah, big diet. Big diet, two ply tire. Two ply, um, shorter rear paddle. Yeah. Not as much scoop. You don't wanna dig. You wanna float, guys. You wanna float in the Being sand. Being a big race guy, you know, I like to mess around with the car. So in the sand, I would rather have a little more slide than grip, personally, I feel like if you have too much grip, it's not fun. You're just biking the car, it's just digging holes. Yeah. So a little slide to it helps the shorter. And then the front, we did a bi-directional setup. That's where the magic is. Magic. Yeah. This is game changer right here. So I flipped them around on the four-seater and my biggest preference with that is it pulling the four-seater through the turn rather than pushing or, I think the coolest part is it's a almost a performance style paddle for a, you know, entry level price. And let's not forget, it's a true 33 inch tire, yeah. like yeah, a true 33 inch. When we setup. made it, that was the big, my big focus was let's get it to the size or at least a little over. Cause my biggest pet peeve being in the tire and wheel industry is, oh, I bought a 33 and the thing measures 31 and a half or whatever, something dumb like that. So that was a big push and just getting it light, getting it down in weight and floating. So. And that's exactly what it does. Like a bigger tire, yep. that much sidewall, that's like, the first point of your suspension, guys. Yeah. It's not always in the shock. It well, starts it, at the tire. The Pro XP needs ground clearance, yeah. even with long travel. And then pairing it up with the non beadlock KMC, that, awesome. same thing, just going light. Awesome. And what we did with these wheels is we added a inner bead locking system. Instead of a traditional just round bead hump, uh, we went with more of like a ledge style. Yeah. So when it gets in there, it locks it in. There's some benefits on the low pressure side, but I think this works just as good as a beadlock in my case. It's pretty cool to like develop something that works and we're keeping the performance in mind. Now we have the Toros. Yes. What's so this? this is brand new Impact. Yeah. Impact. Impact, correct. It's so a good looking wheel. What if you guys follow uh, off-road racing, McMillan, Andy McMillan just debuted this wheel at the Baja 500. So this is the same style that's on his trophy truck. We're now implementing into the UTV scene. This actually has a clear coat. Yeah. And then as you can see, like in the pockets, we painted it silver. So this wheel is easy cleaning, no, no, etching. no etching, no staining. Throw a set in your garage at UTV Source, guys. Like I'm telling you, they should be on there in stock, ready to rip. So we got the wheels, we got the tires, we got HCR. A little bit different shock in there. Yeah. Uh, so it's the stock Fox Dynamic shock with a Zebros package. So what is the Zebros package? So they, uh, cool part about Zebros is, you know, they have the spring kits off the shelf, but with the HCR long travel kit, we found out way too soft. So we were at, what, Rally on the Rocks or something, came out, put it on their lift, new springs. Okay, these getting better, try it again. So they have a variety of from off the shelf to a full, custom package. And I'm telling you guys, like the fit, finish, and the R&D that goes into this shock, it's, it, they're clean. Yeah, and the tunability too, like uh, just call them up, you know, hey, I'm having an issue with this, or I think it should do this, and they, they'll literally send you a settings package and try this out. Yeah. Next day, you go try it, and it's a totally different car, so. Yeah, that's so rad to have, yeah. have that access nowadays, you know, it, and it, it's affordable too. Right. And being, you know, with a big, giant corporate company like Wheel Pros, to still have stuff like that is pretty refreshing. 
That is that is legit. So yeah. I, I see some Assault products on here too. Yeah, uh, luckily Assault was the only one that made a long travel tie rod. <laughs> you know, these cars come at 64 inches. I absolutely hated it. <laughs> so we needed a long travel kit and Marcelo had the tie rod ready to go and Assault's a great company. Yeah, he's, he's doing the right thing, man. He's a good guy. Yep. So we got the mirrors, we got the tie rods. What kind of lights we got working with? The whole Baja Designs catalog. You got a lot of lights on Yeah. <laughs> I've always been a fan of the XL80. I think it's an amazing light. Very bright light. Yeah, and uh, I know they do the new linkable setup, but I love the look of the individual light. And then doing this like safari style rack. Now is that, is that a custom rack? Yeah, so this is an IMG Motorsports cage. Okay. It's their off-the-shelf cage. Like bolt in, boom, bolt boom, in, boom. go. They custom built this rack, but the awesome part about it is the lights are on one plug and there's four bolts, it comes out. So like if it doesn't fit in a so you had trailer a fancy, or something. You had a fancy harness made too. Yeah, he, he went over the top and I just wanted something that looked just a little bit different. It's clean, dude. So we got some more Zebros back here. Yep, I see that. And then the billet HCR radius rods. Those things look good. I couldn't paint them. They're fancy. Yeah, that's just the raw setup. I thought it looked good with the gray. Yeah, and you got Evo exhaust. The the full Evo package, um, hey. intake, so you're tuned. valve tune, the code shooter, which, holy crap. Is that dope? That is amazing. I gotta play with one of those. It's, uh, our Can-Am was throwing a code and, dude, you throw that thing in, pull it up on your phone, Tells you exactly what's going on. Fire extinguisher. Can't stress it enough. Always. You got a UTV, put one on. If you can put two on, put two on. If you're not gonna use it, your body's gonna, someone's gonna use yeah. it. <laughs> and the Regardless. cool part, the assault one, I mean, anybody will know, shit, grab that thing. Yeah. It's not yeah. unbolting anything or it's right there. And they're not expensive. No. They're not expensive. Yeah, if you're doing a cage, you're doing a fire extinguisher. Who threw the wrap on? I'm curious. Uh, wrap's Proline. Okay. Proline uh, wrap. I got a little gnarly at Rally on the Rocks, but Andrew, there's nobody else I would use. Pretty he cool. kills it on the UTV wraps. Did a good job. Zebros, rear uh, sway bar, any links. Yep. Adjustable. Adjustable, Pinto. heavy duty. They are big. Yeah. Pro Eagle. Pro Eagle, that's Phoenix cool. DS. That's gonna get mounted back here once I get the mounts for it. Got a jack, <laughs> you got a jack. Dude, this thing's killer. Yeah, I got dome lights, the Baja Designs dome lights. Got to see at just night. push it? Yep. Look at that. All tied in. Kind of bougie. Kind of, kind you know, but it's, I mean, it's, it's the necessities. Yeah, this is dope. I'm sure everyone's like, okay, enough about the car. We're gonna find out how good of a driver this dude is. I hope I'm good. And uh, we're gonna do some rallying out here. Yeah, we'll keep up with Kyle over here and probably put a door in on Rick. That's what I've been waiting for. Well, here we go. <laughs> Let's get to it. We doing it. As always, make sure you like, subscribe, UTV Source, get over. Also, KMC UTV, both Facebook and Instagram. As our buddy Rick knows, get this in your garage right here. Sand Slinger Sport, KMC Impact, hottest on the market right now. Top 10 on Rick's list, so you need it.